So, product review. I've got a unusual 6 inch lift kit that I just noticed on the market. It's uh, kind of a hybrid between a Rocks lift kit and a uh, AGW Mad Jax All Sports 6 inch A arm lift kit. Uh, so, let's open this box and take a look at it. So here's an overview of uh, some of the main components of this kit. As you can see, it comes out of the package already pre-assembled with some very, very thick plate steel, full A-arm, almost like skid plate even. That's pretty freaking heavy duty for this kit. You'll notice it's also got bushings at the end rather than those pesky piece of shit heim joints. Uh, which is pretty cool. This is a little bit different design. There is no Heim joints, even your control arms here. Pretty much same design, but with a uh, greasable bushing at the end of it. These bushings look like standard size club car president bushings. They feel nice and soft. They're not plasticky feeling. Uh, so that's just something that will wear over time. Uh, nothing's perfect, but at least it's not likely to snap off and uh, kill you. The only thing I really don't like is this bracket right here is really offset, so I still like the Rocks the BMF kits because um, you can actually switch out these leaf springs for coilovers. I wouldn't actually trust that uh, trust that with this design right here. So that goes like that. And then you've got these long king pins here. It's gonna bolt on like that with a little bit of lube. And the rest of it right here, which is pretty cool. We've got brass, thick brass bushings. Just like a club car would use. Also greasable, very cool. Let's make sure that nice fits there. Yeah, look at that. All right. Now, so far so good. It looks good. It's, uh, it's made out of some serious, serious freaking metal. That shit is thick. The welds are pretty good. All sides there. Down here at the bottom. That's pretty serious. This looks like it's going to work out okay. I'm not going to have to worry about um, heim joint failures or the bolts coming out of the bottom of heim joints. Uh, rusty heim joints down here at the beach we see quite a bit of. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. It is made in China. That's on the box, but like I said, I seen it was a new design um, And I figured I'd give it a try because the rocks BMF kits are not cheap kits um, But this does kind of eliminate some of those flaws with the uh, typical Heim joint six inch lift kits that you find um, also in the box it comes with uh, two different sizes of your uh, rear spacers uh, for leveling up so they do give you uh, two different options there uh, for whatever reason all the hardware seems to be there the packaging was really really nice very tight in the box and uh, as you can see it was in that styrofoam containment unit there there's those blocks and then there's an additional set of blocks in the box so all right let's get to installing this thing All right, wrapping up this install on the Kingzilla 6-inch heavy-duty lift kit from China. Uh, it went together really well. There's no instructions with the uh, packaging, so good luck to you. But if you've done any of the other 6-inch lift kits, the All Sports, the GTWs, Mad Jacks, uh, whatever else, it pretty much is exactly the same. The only difference is uh, we're not dealing with time joints. We're dealing with bushings at the bottom and the top up here. Um, overall, it's a very heavy duty kit. It's made out of some serious steel. The spindles have uh, brass bushings in them that may need to be replaced, I don't know, seven, ten years from now. Uh, that shouldn't be too big of a problem. It looks like it'd be uh, something you could find online pretty common. The bushings, they look like they're standard uh, club car president bushings. I didn't have any problems with the install, any problems with putting the old hubs on. Everything went together pretty well, just about as fast as any of those other lift kits would. Really heavy duty, very solidly built. Um, once I had it all together uh, without the tires, you can you know rotate the uh, spindles over here and uh, there's nothing that's loose. 
Um, otherwise, it's got my endorsements. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks good. Uh, it's sitting well, and uh, the tires are not crazy cocked out or anything, or needed any uh, extensions on the steering rack. So, yeah, I'd recommend it. It looks like it's going to be all right. Um, we'll see how it does in the future.